Hi everyone, Amy Hager here, and I just got back from rollerblading with my little girl and my little boy. He was scooter riding, and uh, we we're at the lakefront and just having a blast in the evening during sunset. Afterwards, I came home and I got a coconut. <laughs> I just thought, wow, like there's so much I didn't know about coconuts before. So I actually used a, a meat cleaver to open it. I find that a lot easier than some of the coconut jacks that I have for some reason. Um, but yeah, so I just use a sharp knife, the, the point of a sharp knife, and I go ahead and I open it up. And I'm just gonna drink the water, which um, feels a little wasteful, but uh, the meat is really, really fattening. So the meat has got 1,405 calories in it. Wow, that's like almost my daily's worth of calories. So they're super, super, super calorically dense. Also, uh, okay, so these guys are also 78% fat. Whoa, so the fat you eat is the fat you're gonna wear and it's saturated fat. It is a medium chain fat, which means that it's a little bit easier for your body to digest than normal um, fat, but it's still nonetheless fat is fat and the fat you eat is the fat you wear. They are loaded with loads of vitamins and minerals. So, um, you know, if you are depleted in iron or magnesium or potassium, they're a good source of that. Uh, but you have to be mindful that the coconut meat has a lot of fat in them. Also, the coconut meat is very rich in fiber. So there's like 142% uh, fiber in here and it's a solid, uh, it's a non-soluble fiber, which means that your body doesn't absorb it. It helps to actually move the stool through the body. So that's actually a good thing. So the coconut water has got 45.6 calories, so it's significantly less. It has a lot of those same vitamins and minerals. It's about 20% protein, 74% carbs, and it's about 6% fat. It's loaded in sodium, magnesium, and potassium, so it's got a lot of good vitamins and minerals in there for you. River, do you like to drink coconut water? Yes or no? No. We, no, so River's not really into coconut water. Pepper will drink coconut water sometimes, but I really love the coconut water. So when I'm done exercising or working out, I find it just so satiating to have a nice cold coconut water. I have these in the refrigerator. Uh, I find them to be more refreshing and tasteful than the store-bought, like, you know, if you get it in some of those jars. So I still will get coconut water in those containers, but uh, when you get it from fresh from the coconut, it's so much better. It's really, really delicious. And, you know, it just kind of helps to restore some of those electrolytes that you might have lost during exercise. And they're just super yummy and they're really good for you. So drink the coconut water. If you're trying to lose weight, Maybe you wanna stay away from the meat because the meat is very calorically dense and it's very high in fat. Remember, 78% fat, that's no joke. So it's just something interesting to know about with coconut meat. Also, the younger meat is going to be less fatty than the more mature meat. And yeah, they're super delicious. So I get these at my local, where did I get this? I got this at Key Foods. So I go to some different ethnic grocery stores sometimes. So Key Foods near me is a Spanish grocery store. And they also have a lot more tropical fruits. I'm able to find some guavas there and papayas and dragon fruit and just a bunch of other different items that I can't find at a normal grocery store. So, you know, if you uh, live in an area where you don't normally see coconuts at the store, um, also like at the, some of the ethnic stores, I've noticed that they're a little bit cheaper. So like I can see these or find these at Whole Foods, but for me, Whole Foods is an hour away. Uh, some of the ethnic stores are right down the street and they're also a little bit cheaper at some of the ethnic grocery stores as well. So go to an Asian market, you know, try out the Spanish market. I notice when I go to the Spanish markets, then I can find mame, sapote, and you know, different items like that. And then when I go to some of the Asian markets, I might find um, some different tropical fruits as well, like mangosteen or rambutans. He's out of here. Um, <laughs> longans or lychee. So as summer comes in to season, you're going to see so many more fruits become available, and I'm really looking forward to it. So you guys. Get some fresh coconut water. I encourage you to get out there and try some, it's delicious. So I went rollerblading with Pepper here and Pepper wanted to tell you a story that happened to her today. So you wanna tell him what happened? Um, when we were going down this bumpy hill, um, these bumps, I went on the last one and um, I fell off of it and it she hurt. hurt her knee. Show him your elbow. 
Yeah, so she got an owie, like she fell on the concrete and she got scraped up. And her knee, you can see right here, the band-aid on her knee. Yeah, we're gonna leave it there. So yeah, to Pepper, we were talking about coconuts. Do you like coconuts? Do you ever drink the coconut water? Um, I sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Pepper's more adventurous than my uh, little boy, River. So when you have kids, uh, some kids are just going to be more willing to try more foods than others. River is really, really picky. He likes the same things. He wants his routine, he wants the same meal, and he doesn't want to stray from that. And Pepper is like definitely my adventurous eater, and she likes to drink some of the coconut water. And she is more game for trying different things that I have. I'll just be like, hey, Pepper, try this. And she'll be like, okay. <laughs> she just goes for it. So. Yeah, and some things you really like, like the passion fruit, right? What would happen if you never tried that? That's her favorite one. Oh, look at the eyebrows, you guys. <laughs> She's got special tricks going on. So, see you guys later. Peace out, y'all. And sending you guys all my love. If you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, click on the link below, click on the bell for notifications for future videos, and peace out, y'all. Bye. Thank you.